Today's topic is the manufacture of wood pulp or you can say preparation of wood pulp by sulfate process. In the this video we will learn about all these points. So, let's start. So, first of all we will know what is pulp. Pulp refers to the soft, moist, and fibrous inner part of a fruit, vegetable, or plant material. It can also refer to a type of paper made from wood fibers. When it comes to the raw material for pulp, hard wood, soft wood, fruits, bagasse, etc are used to make pulp. For your information, in the production of pulp, the main process is pulping. Now the question arises, what is the pulping process? When fiber material is separated and broken down from raw sources, this process is called pulping, which mainly involves three types, chemical pulping, mechanical pulping, and semi-chemical pulping. In most industries, chemical pulping is predominantly used. This video also explains the production of pulp using chemical pulping. First, let's understand the equipment used in the production of pulp, and then we will learn about the working process through a step-by-step -step flow sheet diagram. Let's get started. This section is called the chip bin section, where chips used for pulp manufacturing are stored. Now, the question arises, what are these chips? When wood is ground into thin and small pieces, it is referred to as wood chips. The size of these chips is typically 2 to 5 centimeters, and their thickness is kept less than 1 centimeter. This chip bin section is connected to other sections like the debark section, where bark is removed by grinding the wood, the cutting section, where the wood is cut into small pieces or chips using large sharp knives, and the washing section, where the wood chips are cleaned to remove impurities like dirt and stones. Next is the rotating tapered plug screw, which preheats the wood chips, removing the oil content, known as turpentine, present in the wood chips and sends them continuously to the digester without any flow gap or break. Then comes the three-way valve, the working process of which we will learn in this video. Also, there is the recirculating pump which continuously recirculates the liquor during the process. And it is called mixed tank. Inside it stores white liquor for process as well as black liquor. And this is four-state centrifugal pump. Through this liquor is delivered to continuous digester with 12 atmospheres pressure. Now, let's talk about the continuous digester. It has a length of 25 to 30 meters and contains different compartments. The top section has a temperature of 140 to 150 degrees Celsius. The bottom upper section has a temperature of 170 to 180 degrees Celsius. And the bottom section has a temperature of 65 degrees Celsius. Steam equipment is used to maintain the temperature inside the digester. The pressure inside the digester ranges from 660 to 750 atmospheres. The main pulping process takes place inside the digester, using white liquor and water. This process takes around 2 to 3 hours to complete. This is called strainer. The strainer separates cellulose fibers and black liquor from each other, and the blowdown valve sends the slurry pulp to the blow tank. The blow tank stores the slurry pulp mixture for some time and generates steam energy from the slurry pulp temperature, which is used for preheating and other industrial purposes. It also releases the gas present in the slurry pulp. And it is called screen by which the lumpy pulp present in the slurry pulp mixture is separated from the pulp mixer. The rotating filter drum is commonly used in pulp manufacturing where it separates solid pulp from the slurry pulp mixture, thereby separating pulp and liquor. Now, we will understand the working process of production of pulp through step-by-step -step flow sheet diagram, so let's begin. First, the logs are ground and cut into small pieces to make wood chips. These wood chips are then washed and stored in chip bins. When the process begins, the wood chips are sent to a rotating tapered plug screw using a star valve called star wall. In this step, the chips are preheated using steam energy, separating the oil content from the wood chips, which is obtained as turpentine. Simultaneously, the white liquor, also known as cooking liquor and digestion liquor, is sent to the continuous digester from the mixed tank using a centrifugal pump, operating at a pressure of 12 atm and continuously recirculating during the process. During recirculation, when liquor moves from the top section of the continuous digester to the inside of the digester tower, it also takes the wood chips along with it. When the chips enter the continuous digester, primarily a pulping process occurs, which includes cooking and delignification, sodium sulfate along with water, are used in the cooking process to obtain fiber material from the wood chips, which binds the materials together, known as lignin, 
Removing the binding material from the fiber becomes necessary, which is done during the delignification process. Next, the obtained brown stock mixer, containing fiber and black liquor, is sent to the strainer, where the fiber and black liquor are separated, along with the removal of solid particles, the fiber mixer is then obtained and called a, slurry pulp mixture, which is sent to the blow tank using the blow tank valve, while the black liquor is recycled back to the continuous digester, for your information, let me explain that when impurities dissolve in white liquor, it transforms into black liquor. After a short time in the blow tank, the slurry pulp mixture generates steam energy from its temperature, used for preheating and process utilization. The gas present in the pulp mixture is also released during this step. The slurry pulp mixture is then sent to the screen, where any pulp knots and undigested residual wood chips are retained, and the uniform slurry pulp mixture passes through to the rotating filter. Now, in the rotating filter, the filtration process takes place, and hot water is also used for this purpose. When the slurry pulp mixture reaches the first rotating filter, a separation occurs, and the rich black liquor gets separated from the slurry pulp mixture. Then, the slurry pulp mixture obtained from the first rotating filter is sent to the second rotating filter, where hot water is supplied. During the filtration process at this stage, solid pulp is obtained from the slurry mixture, Along with the collection of weak black liquor, the weak black liquor is sent for recycling, and finally, the obtained pulp is sent for drying and bleaching.